Uh, welcome to the demo for Sizzlers. I'm just going to spend uh, a little bit of time taking you through the highlights of what's new in alterations and then maybe we'll be able to kind of scoot around and look at all the finished samples. So first thing to talk about of course is the new Vagabond, the Vagabond 2. Uh, I blogged about this just to kind of uh, answer the, the most asked question like what makes it different? Well it's, it's really no better than the Vagabond 1 really. Uh, the original Vagabond cuts, does everything. This machine does it. Uh, nothing that the original one doesn't do. What we really did is uh, basically based on the end user experience, kind of take a machine just to make it a little easier for the crafter to not break their machine. Um, as I mentioned on my blog, you can put rocks in a blender and you can still turn it on the same way that if you put an extra cutting pad in your Vagabond, it'll still try to take it and break the machine. Whereas the Vagabond 2 has overload protection, so if you try to overload the machine, the machine will actually stop, allowing you to reverse the sandwich. And I really wanted to put that through the test so, I'm sure they don't want me to show you this, but I really can. Um, so what I did is um, I tried to overload my machine with a precision base plate, magnetic platform, thin die adapter, and two cutting pads to run a thinlet through. And I wanted to see what would happen because obviously that's way too much to go in the machine. And what happened was is it took my thinlet and it pressed it into the plastic. And you can see where it went into the machine and it stopped. And that totally embedded my die into the plastic. Allowed me to back it right out, take it out, no problem. So then I thought, okay, well that works with the die. Same sandwich, but I put in a texture fade and a piece of chipboard just to see what would happen. This is where we got this kind of record player marks on my cutting pad. It actually spun all the way through, flattened this piece of plastic out all the way to here, stopped, allowed me to back it right out. So overload protection works. So if you try to overload the machine, the Vagabond 2 will stop and allow you to uh, move it out. Another thing we did with this Vagabond machine, when we launched this machine originally, I didn't design thin dies. I was only into steel dies. So ironically, and when I told people this yesterday, they were like, I never really thought about that. Uh, ironically, the original Vagabond, if you buy that machine and you have thin dies, you can't take it out of the box and cut any thin dies without going to make another purchase because I didn't have thin dies. I didn't think you anyone needed to cut them, but obviously is designing them and loving them. This new machine, not only does it come with the platform, we've now embedded the shim. You don't need to remove a shim, but it does come with the thin die adapter. So if you have this, you buy the new machine, if you have thin dies, you can now take it out of the box and use it for your thin dies. Another thing I did is I changed the art on this to tell a better story. Um, and my art's very different than the Sizzix one, but I really wanted everything done based on pictures. I'm not one that's going to read all the way through something. I might start reading it, but I'm probably not going to get to the end. I'm going to glance and go, okay, good, let's go. Uh, so when something tells me, don't do this at the bottom as an afterthought, I've already done it, and then I realize I shouldn't. So the platform, really basic. Embossing shows you your option. Cutting, your option. That's it, it's very simple. You're gonna use this platform if you are embossing with folders or using a diffuser, or if you're cutting using your uh, sizzlets or decorative strips. That's when you're gonna need your platform. And there's your little key to show you what is a cutting pad, what is a diffuser, so it really allows that end user to kind of see how it works just at a glance. You don't even have to read because we took out all the little words and arrows and all that because no one reads it anyway. Then we go to the thin die down. The thin dies work with all of the framelits, thinlets, triplets, so you can see all of those thin dies, and it's a very simple sandwich. That's it, it never changes. But one thing that's really important, everybody's going to read this because it's a big caution thing that says, do not use for embossing. So when you have this on your surface, you're gonna glance down and be like, oh, that's there. Because these look very similar, so I wanted a really obnoxious warning where it says, it goes, oh, you got a little over the top, I'm like, no. Because when I glance down, I'll see it and be like, oh, it's there because sometimes it's not that we don't know any better, it's just that we don't realize it's happened until it's too late and we put it in the machine. So that's what we've done different to change that. So let's do some cutting things. Is uh, the space the same? It's thing? exactly so the same. So we could just buy that if we had the old machine, like the new one? Absolutely, them. yeah. Yeah, so if you want to kind of get rid of that shim and all that other one and you just want to get this new set to work with the bag bond, exactly, yeah. So these will work exactly the same. So same machine, same opening, same detachable cord, same everything, but the overload protection, and this has all metal gears, because another thing with that other machine is an alloy gear, so when you ran it through, it would just grind it up and it was over, where this just stops, allows you to back it up. So it is good. Um, you know, I've yet to break a Vagabond. Um, 
and I've used mine really hard and work, <laughs> no, I'm I'm horrible with mine, but I've never overloaded it. You know, I've run it to death and I've, you know, really put some stress on it, but I've never put an additional cutting pad. In. Like I said, I think that when people break their machine, it's never intentional at all. You just you forget that, you know, you put you put an extra shim in or, you know, you have this adapter on but you want to run an embossing folder through real quick. So it's never that you meant to do it and sadly the machine was just so powerful that whatever you gave it, it's gonna take. So, you know, to actually say that we made the machine a little less powerful, um, still a strong machine, still does all of that, but the way the motor is geared, it just stops. Yeah, it is. Which I think is good. 